It may be early in the springtime, but all the trees and shrubs are way ahead of schedule thanks to the warm weather. Unfortunately, so are damaging insects. Today, we're going to talk to Lynch Plant and Healthcare to help us identify these insects and also treat them. So this is the magnolia scale. This is the insect here. And it, what it does is it pierces the bark and it feeds on the tree and it will end up causing dieback on the tips of the tree and causing death to the tree at some instances. Magnolia scale is just one tree attacking insect that arborists like Bill Joseph from Lynch Plant Healthcare are tracking and treating this year. Unfortunately, there are many others to look out for. This is a beautiful American holly, but it's got a big problem, right? Yeah, what we noticed today is this actually has an insect called holly leaf miner. And how, what this does is there's an insect that'll end up laying its egg on the leaf. And when that egg hatches, it burrows in and it starts to mine. What eventually will happen if this is not treated? Well, this tree will start to lose its ability to have photosynthesis. And a lot of these leaves will start to drop off the tree. A number of the branches were breaking and they had a fungus on them, or we thought it was a fungus. We didn't actually know what it was. And then we uh, went to the local garden center. And Kevin is one of thousands of local homeowners who are seeking help this year due to a wide variety of tree infestations, including the hemlock woolly adelgid. This is called hemlock woolly adelgid. And this is a, quite a devastating insect to the hemlock trees. It has a capability of killing a tree in three to five years if it's left untreated. Um, we use a product called horticultural oil, and we make two sprays a year to control the insect and complete coverage is essential in order to control this insect. Can a homeowner actually go to a garden center and pick up some of these oils on their own and treat the tree? Um, you, they could. They could pick up the product and spray trees that are about six to ten feet tall that they could reach. Otherwise a tree this size they would be better off calling a professional.